Uh, Coach, I know after last game you talked about kind of the toughness going away in the fourth quarter. Now, what do you think has kind of, you know, I guess changed over the last few days, and how do you expect your team to respond to that? Yeah, I, I don't know what's changed. <laughs> we haven't played a game, so I can't um, I can't judge what's what's changed until we get out and play tonight. Um, but I hope they've just taken heed. I hope they've seen um, some errors and some areas where we can we can grow and we can get better. Uh, the, the season coming down to its its final push now. You yeah. guys are still in contention for a playoff spot. Does it feel like you're playing playoff basketball right now? I feel like the league as a whole was playing playoff basketball. Yes. Um, I think there's opportunities for us specifically to grow to get to playoff basketball, right? Whenever you're down the stretch and how you execute both offensively and defensively is really important during this time um, because everyone's just sharp during this time, um, <clears throat> which makes which makes it for fun basketball. You know what I mean? You have fun, good, um, good product out there on the court. And so we have to grow in that area in terms of understanding what we're looking for, um, when things get tight, because from here on out, everything's going to be tight because everybody's playing for something. What specifically does this kind of atmosphere, this kind of uh, environment uh, really demand out of your team? Uh, focus. Yeah, it demands focus. It demands um, being intentional about what you're looking for, attention to details, and execution. Jeff Red Angel. Uh, Coach, as always, thanks for the time. First of all, can you hear me? I can hear you, Angel. How are Thank you? you so much. I'm great. Thank you for asking. Um, first things first, um, Alicia Gray, is she available tonight? Uh, Alicia is available tonight. Okay. And then secondly, for Aaliyah Boston, she's averaging 22 points per game in this series. Adjustments against her defensively. Yeah, I think we're going to try to be a little bit more active, um, bring some digs and some help whenever we can. You know, if she starts to go off on us, I think we'll just have to throw bodies at her um, and force them to beat us in a different way. And kind of going off of the last, the first question that was posed, um, you mentioned a lot of different categories on how this team needs to grow, toughness being one of them. But what category specifically tonight do you want to see the most growth and how is that executed? I think consistency, because um, I do think when, when we do things um, the right way consistently, we have um, good things happen for us. So I think just being being consistent in what we're asking them to do, um, seeing if it if it works and if it works well, and if not, we'll make adjustments. And then um, I just had a question for both Haley Jones and Nas Hillman. When you're looking at approaching tonight and heed, taking heed to coach um, and what she's just challenged you guys to bring, um, how do you take that responsibility on for yourselves in your minutes? And Nas, you can start if you don't mind. Yeah, um, I mean, we probably come into a lot of these um, media talks and talk about how we all have roles and, and we do. And tonight is about showing up in your role, um, your responsibility um, and, and rising to the occasion and rising to the challenge. Um, Coach talks about, you know, the little things that she wants from us every single day. And it's not like it's unknown what she wants. So we have to make sure that we, we act like we know what she wants and present that tonight in our role. Yeah, I think what Nas said, and just we all know what we're supposed to do. Like when we go through the scout, I think we're all locked in and we understand uh, what we're supposed to be doing. So now it just comes down to actually getting out there and executing it at a high level because it's a push for the playoffs right now. And there's a sense of urgency that we need to do everything with. Thank you so much, ladies and coach. Thank you. Welcome. And finally, Megan, go ahead. Yeah, hey, coach. Hey, Haley. Hey, Nas. Good to see you. Try again. She muted herself. Uh, okay. hey, you got us? Yep. Go ahead. Can you guys hear me? Yeah. Okay, yep. cool. Um, yeah, this question is for Nas. Uh, Nas, I noticed specifically um, in the last game that you were up very active off the bench, clapping, talking, uh, just being encouraging for your teammates, which I thought was a great sight to see. Uh, can you shed any light on, you know, some of the things that you were saying and I guess maybe, you know, what compels you, to, I guess, just to be more active in that regard? Yeah, I think um, our team can could use any any help in terms of you know what you see from the bench. It's a different set of eyes. Um, sometimes the game is just moving uh, so fast you may not see what the bench does. So I just try to give my input any any way that I can. Um, you know whether that's talking in defensive schemes. You know repeating whatever plays is supposed to be repeated. Um, it's just it's just to help. Um, you know acts like acts as a sixth person. You know on the floor when you're you're given that type of communication. Awesome. Thank you so much, ladies. I appreciate you. No problem. Thank you. Good. Thanks.